here at the playground, but it wouldn't be anywhere near as fun unless I brought a friend. <laughs> but nothing beats being at the playground with a friend. Oi, hello. <laughs> So Joel, I thought we'd do some playground physics today. Are you up to it? I am very excited to do some playground physics. Lots of fun things here and you can learn some science. Yes, let's get into it. All right. Our first stop, the humble swing. So what makes a swing a swing? Push is the force that gets you going. When someone pushes you, they increase your kinetic energy. Or you can generate force with your own legs and rock your body back and forth. Pumping your legs increases your potential energy and leaning forward raises your centre of gravity slightly which gets you to swing higher and higher. And air molecules hitting your body is what gives you friction that slows you down. Without air, you can swing forever. forever. Slippery slides pull you down by gravity. The longer and steeper the slide is, the faster you're going by the end. <laughs> I don't think I went quite as fast as I could have. I think my butt was slowing me down. Yeah, so the friction between the slide and you slow you down, but things would be very different if you're on a water slide. Water slides work on the same principle as a roller coaster, but instead of a lift hill at the beginning, you have a stairway. Climbing those stairs builds up potential energy, which turns into kinetic energy as you head down the slide. And instead of wheels on a track like a roller coaster, you have water. On a water slide, the water lubricates the slide to reduce the friction between the slide and your body. Height and the shape of the slide determine how much potential energy is produced. It's the finale. The biggest thing in the playground is the flying fox, and this playground has two, so these guys are going to have a race. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I've got my technique ready. New tight and fast. Here we go. Here we go. And ready, set, fly. Oh, it looks like Joel's just got the lead here, but no, wait, Matt's coming through, and... Oh. <laughs> points and relies on gravity to pull the pulley and the rider from one point to the other. To work, one end of the flying fox must be higher than the other end. The pulley is the secret to the smooth and fast ride, eliminating a lot of that friction along the cable. Less friction equals more speed. You can experiment with different styles of riding the flying fox, like spreading out your weight, curling up in a ball, flying fox when taking off or getting a run-up versus launching from a standing position. And you can experience that feeling of inertia as we hit the end and bounce back. Woohoo! <laughs> well done! <laughs> Thank you. So um, you tried a few different things there. Do you have any tips for people at home? Well look, what we found was that how you sit or stand didn't really make a difference. It's all about your mass. But Taking a bit of a run up, getting some extra energy at the start, that gave Matt the edge. So I reckon that's my tip, get a run up. Well done. All right, well, we'll see you in the playground doing some physics experiments. I'm gonna have another go. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>